Brewers are headed to the playoffs with one more victory. They're trying to secure a division title as well. Brewers' magic number is two. Marlins tonight, pitching-wise, will do something that uh, Craig Council kind of made famous a couple years ago. Just out collectors. They're just going to try to find arms that can get them 27 outs. And the first pitch of the ball game is swung on and hit towards second base, testing Luis Arise. Off balance throw to first. He got him. Nice play, Luis Arise. He's got a bummed ankle, but it ain't going to stop him, apparently. One pitch and one out here tonight. And he misses down and away, so the first walk, first base runner for Milwaukee. Here's a ground ball hit to first. Diving stop by Luis Arise from his knees. He throws out Santana at first. Two terrific plays by Luis Arise, testing that ankle early, and boy, getting a look at him, Nelly. He does not feel good. He is limping, but he is determined to get out there for his team. Yeah, you got to hand it to him, and if this was any time else during the year, you might find him on the IL, give him a little rest, but since you only have nine games left, he wants to be out there to try to help this team get into the playoffs. Shagwa done, Okert in. Here's the 0-1 pitch, and he swings, and he pops it up. Might be playable for Nick Fortes over near the Brewers' dugout. Fortes makes the catch at the railing, then he falls out of play, but it's the final out here at the top of the first inning. A sensational play by Nick Fortes. Steven Okert helps out JT Shagwa. And the Marlins are out of trouble here with the top of the first inning. Nine to go, and boy, oh boy, are they all important. The Brewers' 28-year-old workhorse, former Cy Young Award winner, looking for his elusive 10th win. Chisholm at the plate with a runner in scoring position now. 3-2, and that is swung on it. Missed strike three, got him with a cutter at 95. We're off and running. We head to the second. Willie Adamas is at first base. Donaldson batting 159 this season. Oh, Donaldson oh. sends one deep in the left field. Soler is back, and there she goes. Josh Donaldson connects again. Right on cue. Two run home run puts the Brewers on the board. And Josh Donaldson with his third home run as a Brewer, his second of this road trip. An absolute no doubter off the bat. The man whose nickname is Bringer of Rain certainly did that indoors here at Lone Depot Park. Five walks of the first 10 batters now. Walks don't get momentum going, but they do get hoeing going. Okert still responsible for the two runners on base. Bouncing ball right side. That's going to get through for a base hit. Coming around is Perkins. He'll score easily. Yelich on his way to third. It's an RBI single for Contreras, and the Brewers have a 3 to nothing lead. Here's the 3-1 pitch to Santana. Lined into right. That's down for a base hit. Yelich will trot home. On his way to third is Contreras. Santana trying to leg out a double. He'll do that standing up. And it's 4 nothing Brewers. And now second and third in one away. And the threat is not even close to being over yet. First pitch to Canna. Drives this one out to right center field. Chisholm Jr.'s back at the track. It's off the top of the wall. Contreras will score. Santana burning around third. He's going to score. It's a two-run double for Mark Canna. And the Brewers lead it 6 to nothing here in Miami. Did you see how close that was to going out of here? Oof. I mean, right at the top of the fence, right there. Mm. Oh, Sal Freelich. Freelich into shallow center field. That ball is going to fall. Canna on his way to the plate. Chisholm's throw to the plate. One hop. Canna, he's safe. On his way to second is Freelich. He is safe. Arise dropped the ball. Canna with a great slide. Seven to nothing Brewers. Willie Adamas, who led off the game, uh, the uh, inning rather, is on for a second time. A base hit into right center. Kicked around there by Sanchez. He'll chase it all the way back to the infield. First and third. Well, not the showing that the uh, crowd wanted to start the final homestand. Not the showing that uh, most of us wanted. Skip Schumacher included. Here's Donaldson. Donaldson beats one into the ground. Hampson across the diamond for out number two. Now on his way to third goes Adamas. Nobody there. Brewers taking absolutely nothing for granted. They push the eighth run of the inning across and go first to third on a ground ball to short. I, I think I'm seeing smoke come out of Skip Schumacher's ears. Not pleased. He cannot be pleased with what he's looking at out there on the field. 
Terang, a strikeout victim earlier in this inning. And he sends one into left field. That's a base hit. Another run will score. The merry-go-round continues here. Terang takes off. He's going to steal second base. I mean, right now, the Brewers look like the varsity playing the freshman team. So here's Perkins with a two ball two strike count and he lines it down the right field line. It is a fair ball and into the corner extra bases for Perkins. Terang trots home. Blake will stop at second with an RBI double. It's a 10 spot in the second for the crew. They lead it 10 to nothing here in Miami. There are jaws on the floor right now watching this Brewers offense go to work. Absolute nightmare scenario for the Marlins. Yelich, the 14th batter of the inning. Yelich into left field. That ball's hit well. De La Cruz looking up, and this one is gone. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Christian Yelich with a two-run homer, and it's 12 to nothing. And all 12 runs in the second inning. And it is becoming hard to comprehend what we are watching right now. This is not making any sense, B.A. This is, I've never seen anything this is like it. absolutely ludicrous. In the six losses that the Brewers had with Corbin Burns on the mound, they only scored 11 runs. They've scored 12 in this inning alone. Bases cleared, two outs, and here's William Contreras. The 0-1 pitch. Hit in the air, right center field. This is Sanchez making the catch. And the inning mercifully comes to an end for the Marlins. In a very sarcastic applause, and understandably so, from those in attendance here at Lone Depot Park tonight. The Brewers flexing their muscles here in South Florida. Top of the order in the fifth, due up against Brian Hoeing. Yelich just sets up a run-producing opportunity. And Hoeing deals that one in the air to center field. That is going to fall. Yelich's got a great read. He's on his way to the plate. Throw comes all the way through. A terrible throw from Jazz Chisholm. But the Brewers have added to their lead. Now top of the sixth inning, 13 to nothing. Milwaukee leads. Yelich with a couple of hits today. High fly ball, deep center field. Going back is Chisholm at the track. Yelich again. Christian Yelich with his second home run of the night. His 19th of the season. It's a three-run shot. And the Brewers with a 16 to nothing drubbing of the Marlins right now in Miami. And do you think the Brewers are glad to have that bat back in this lineup? We head to the bottom of the eighth inning. Marlins trying to get on the scoreboard. Birdie goes after the first one, sends a fly ball to center field. There goes the shutout. Solo homer, John Birdie. Yeah, good for John. John got a little pop in that swing on the berm in center field. Rowdy Telez, first time he's ever been on the mounds. He's always wanted to. Yeah, what do you got on him? 59 <laughs> yeah. miles an hour. Yeah. Gas. Doesn't get a lot of extension. They are entertained. And the ringleader over there is Adamas. Oh, my goodness. Sanchez tr tr trying to hit one to the upper deck. Whee! And he struck him out. High cheese. Keep that ball. <laughs> Look Keep at Adamas. Save that ball for sure. That goes on the mantle. First career big league strikeout. He earned it too. Nine pitches later, high, we'll call it heat, up and in. <laughs> Staying up there. Congratulations. Rowdy Telez. Fly ball to left. Two outs in the inning. Here is Nick Fortes, the catcher. Telez's pitch. And this should do it. Rowdy Telez ERA is a zero. And the Brewers have secured a spot in the postseason. For the fifth time in the last six years, the Brewers are headed to the postseason. Now, one more piece to the puzzle. The magic number is one to win the National League Central, and what a ride this has been.